Hello and welcome to the episode 194 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. The Beatles returned on stage in 1961, five Ivor Novello Awards in 1965 and a meeting in 1968 are the highlights of today's episode. On the 13th of July 1961, the Beatles, with Pete Best on drums, performed for the first time after their return to Liverpool from their second residence in Hamburg, West Germany. Tonight, they played the St. John's Hall, thanks to Mrs. Best. Indeed, Mona Best was responsible to run some nights at the hall, in addition to run the Casbah Coffee Club in her house's cellar. This time, though, she wasn't being partial in engaging her son's band. The Beatles were now virtually untouchable on the local scene, with very few bands capable of offering the excitement their performance could. One year later, in 1962, the same lineup of the band performed at the Tower Ballroom in Wallasey, their 17th time at the venue. One more live engagement in 1963, with the Beatles, now featuring Ringo Starr on drums, performing their last of six consecutive nights at the Winter Gardens in Margate, with another two shows. By the way, if you fancy supporting in any way my effort to produce this podcast or other music-related material, please visit www.simonmas.com support and see what you can do. The link is in the episode description too, and remember, any help is warmly welcomed. Thank you! Right now, it's Ivor Novello Awards time again, this time in 1965. Paul McCartney was at the Savoy Hotel in London to receive five Ivor Novello Awards on behalf of himself and of John Lennon, during a lunchtime ceremony. Paul arrived 40 minutes late at the luncheon, having forgotten of the event. John, who was also meant to attend, never showed up, probably due to the establishment's outcry for the Beatles being awarded MBEs, as we have seen in episode 163. This was also touched upon by McCartney, who, in receiving one of the awards from Sir Billy Butlin, commented, I hope nobody sends theirs back now. Rediffusion TV filmed the event and broadcast it on the 15th of July between 10.33 and 11.05 pm, during their Pick of the Songs program. Finally, we close with a family moment, happened on the 13th of July 1968. It was on this date that John Lennon introduced her new lover, Yoko Ono, to his aunt Mimi. The meeting happened in Mimi's house in Poole, the one that John had bought her in 1965. I have no hint about how the meeting went from my sources, but perhaps, if you read some biographies that I haven't, you might contact me to fill the gap. Having said this, it's time to drop the curtain on this episode. Tomorrow, we'll talk about the Beatles' first performance on BBC's Top Gear. Tune in for more. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.